Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing and today's video I'm going to talk about one of my favorite uh, rod and reel setups that I fish with and that would be uh, the mooching rod reel. Uh, it's not something that I use very often on my uh, on my charter boat uh, with customers because it's a it's a bit more of a difficult uh, setup and not really for first time anglers but you know when I'm going out fun fishing with myself and, and the guys it's uh, a rod I really like to use, or, or rod and reel combo, I should say, that I really like to use. Um, you know, I first started using the mooching rod, mooching reel combinations when I moved to Vancouver in 2012. Um, I'd never actually used one before, and uh, I got addicted to them when I lived in Vancouver, and it was pretty much all I fished with when I lived out in Vancouver. Um, I made sure before I uh, before I came back, I made sure I bought a couple of brand new setups, uh, you know, with nice billet reels, and then over time, actually upgraded... Uh, upgraded my setups. So today I want to actually walk you through what I use for a rod and reel combination when it comes to a, a mooching setup uh, that I use for downrigging as well as I want to talk about you know how I actually terminate the how I terminate the line uh, both for when I'm running with a flasher uh, flasher meat rig or a flasher fly combination but also when it comes to uh, you know fishing for uh, with a spoon using a mooching, using a mooching rod and reel. So before I get started if you like my videos and you like the channel, don't forget, click that subscribe button. Helps me out a great deal as a YouTube content producer. And, uh, you know, don't forget to uh, click the like button as well. It really helps me out. And feel free, let me know if you got any questions in the, in the, in the comment section. I love getting your questions, love getting your comments, so please, uh, please uh, keep them up. So first, let's talk about what I actually use. So, right here, I've got my, uh, my latest uh, mooching rod and reel combination. So what I've actually got here is I've got an Amund Amundsen TMX5. That is the, the mooching reel of choice that I use. Um, I like these ones because they were, they were actually, I believe they were the first ones to put the carbon fiber drags. Prior to that, um, pretty much all mooching reel manufacturers use cork drags. Amundsen, I think for about the last, I'm going to go from memory, six, seven years, have had the carbon fiber drags. Pretty much, I think everyone else now does it too, but they were the first. Uh, from a rod perspective, actually, um, these are brand new rods for me. Uh, you know, I, I really, uh, I really like the way they feel. Um, haven't had a chance actually to bring a fish in yet, but, uh, really like the way they feel as I, as I played around with them and I've had such success with this company's, uh, rods last year when it came to my regular downrigger rods and my, uh, uh diver and leg core rods that I flipped over the mooching rod and that's the Streamside rods. So this rod now, it is the Streamside TSM, uh, 1062. It's a ten and a half foot mooching rod. What I love about it is it's got a cork up handle and it's got like a rubber uh, rubber lower handle. So I really like that. It's a, I think it's a great combination. Uh, you know, the cosmetic side of the rod looks great. You know, it's got that it's got the you know the uh, the gray and black gloss and then it goes into the flat black, which I'm I'm a big fan of. And I'm not sure if you can see here. I love the eyes, polished stainless steel eyes. Like those are those are fantastic. So that is that is the setup I've got um, that I'm using. When it comes to line, I've been playing around with monofilaments the last couple of years. And every time I play around with mon monofilaments, I seem to end up back with, uh, you know, running Andy fishing line. So Andy is A-N-D-E fishing line. They're out of, I think, uh, West Palm, Florida, and uh, their products are made in Germany, actually, is, is Andy. And uh, this is actually, I've got Andy pink on this particular reel, and it's, for, it's, it's 40 pound. Um, but I use, uh, as you can see, I got a massive spool over my, uh, over my shoulder here. This is actually Andy clear 40 pound and it's a monster spool. I think this was, ten, was a 10,000 yard spool that I got my hands on for a great price, but a uh, big fan of a uh, big fan of the Andy. Um, I use either the pink or the pink or the clear, um, you know, the clear they have in a, I'd say like a gloss clear and they also have a ghost clear. That's like a, a matte color. Um, it's great fluorocarbon. If you know anyone that fishes uh, on the ocean, uh, you know, call them the East Coast, uh, you know, call it the, the Carolinas down to Florida, um, they swear by Andy Fluorocarbon. It is a fantastic, sorry, not Andy Fluorocarbon, Andy Monofilament. They swear by it. They're, you know, big fans. It is a premium uh, monofilament. And it's, like I said, I just keep going back to it over and over again, even though I try different things. Like I've, I've played around with Berkeley, uh, Berkeley uh, Big Game. Played around with Berkeley Pro Spec. They're not bad, but I just, I'm a big fan of the Andy. I don't find it gets the, the line twist as much. I find it's really abrasion resistant. Um, Andy's what I, uh, Andy's what I use. 
Uh, like I said, I've been playing around the last few years and I keep coming back to, uh, to Andy. Um, this particular mooching rod I have in my hand, this is the one I have set up for, uh, obviously they're, they're both set up for downrigging, the two I have. Um, but this one I've got set up for a, uh, you know, a flash or fly or a flash or meat rig combo. Because first of all, it is 40, it is filled right from bottom to top with 40 pound Andy. Um, the other thing, and I'll show you right here on the tip, on the tip you can see I am running, I am running a Torpedo Premium number four um, snap swivel. These guys right here. Um, that's the swivel I use. These are rated for 240 pounds. So I'd say from a strength perspective, overkill. But I really like the um, the ball, the, the, the high quality ball bearing swivel on here. Um, really, really avoids any line twist, even though the Andy is really resistant. And then what I've actually got is I've got a bead here. And this bead actually, uh, it goes on just before the knot. And reason being is, um, if someone does, someone's not familiar and does try to wind, um, you know, call all the way, I like to say, call, try to wind the flasher through the rod tip, the bead will stop. And uh, and this bead, it's actually a rubber bead. It's not a plastic bead. So it's actually kind of squishy um, and soft. So it'll protect the rod. So this is actually, like I said, this is, the, this is my current setup that I use when it comes to uh, mooching. And this particular one is, um, is for, I use for flashers. Now, I do have another rod. I'll put this one down. I do have another rod here. Um, so here's another one. And you'll notice my reel is empty. So I'm actually going to talk you through how I, how I actually uh, tie the line to the reel um, when I'm getting ready to, uh, to rig up a, a mooching rod. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then what I'll do is I'll talk at the end about how I actually will terminate this for, uh, for spoons because I will, I will terminate it differently. On this particular one, I'm going to use the Indy 40-pound um, um, monofilament, the clear stuff. Uh, but, and before I forget, I'm actually going to put links into the description of the video here. So in the description, I'll put some Amazon links to actually buy Andy fluorocarbon, sorry, Andy monofilament. Because you can't buy it in most of the stores, especially in the in the southern Ontario or the Toronto area. I'm not sure about on the other side of the lake in the New York side or, uh, you know, Lake Michigan area. But I know here, you really can't buy Andy, but um, I do have links uh, to Amazon where you can uh, can get this. As well as I'll put some links to uh, some of the other products I've used, um, like, the, like the Torpedo stuff, in the description to help you guys out. So with that, let's uh, let's get started. So I'm actually going to just take uh, take some line off here. And uh, it's a pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy spool, but I've got, I've got some line here. And what I'm going to do actually is um, I'm going to, I'm going to explain what knot I'm using. It's hard to demonstrate, it's hard to demonstrate this. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to link a video to how to tie this knot. It's not, you know, excuse the pun, but it's not actually my video that I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to show you a video just of one that I can find on, uh, on YouTube on how to tie an arbor knot. An arbor knot is a great knot to um, is a great knot to actually terminate your uh, your uh, your monofilament to uh, a fishing reel. It works on a mooching reel like these. It works on a spinning reel. It works on a level wind reel. Great knot. Highly recommend it. Super easy to tie. And uh, and the nice thing about it is it's a knot that cinches down tighter and tighter and tighter as you uh, as you tie it. And as you can see, as I've been talking, I've tied that knot and I've now got this line on my reel. Now, you don't want to see me spool up about 450, 500, sorry, about 450 yards of monofilament on this particular reel. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually going to pause the video here. I'm going to spool up this reel and then I'm going to come back and show you the other end when I'm going to now, how I'm going to set this up. So it's ready for um, fishing spoons. So bear with me while I do that, and I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. The reel spooled up. I got about 450 yards of uh, 40 pound Andy monofilament. I put the clear stuff on that I have right here, and uh, now I'm going to talk about how I terminate this when I'm running spoons, because way too thick is the 40 pound. So that's where I'm going to add a leader. So this is where I'm going to use whatever your favorite uh, fluorocarbon is. 
I'm setting this rod up right now for uh, spring kings, um, you know, spring, early summer, and therefore I'm going to use 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon as my leader. And I'm going to use the, uh, the torpedo superior fluorocarbon. That's what I'm going to use here. So I'm going to just connect these two together with a, uh, either an Albright knot or a double uni knot. You know, for myself, I'm a big fan of the, of the double uni. So I'm going to use a double uni and I'm going to quickly tie that right now. And uh, that's how I'm going to connect these two together. I find the double uni still goes through the eyes quite nice. So give me a second while I get this one tied up. And the other thing I like about the double uni is, and you'll notice with all of the knots I use, I like to use knots that are pretty quick and easy to tie. Because if I'm doing this on the boat with customers, I, uh, I don't want to be messing around with a knot. You know, often when I'm doing this, the customers are talking to me. Um, I need to have something that's very, uh, very quick, very easy, and very effective. So give me a sec here while I finish this one off. Okay, so I've got my double unis. Just got to cinch them up here. Okay, and my double unis are cinched up nice and tight. Let's just check the other one. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut the tag ends off. So let's get those tags off. Okay. And that double uni is done. Then what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to kind of take um, six or seven arm lengths. So I'm going to do six or seven pulls. So one two, three, four, five, six, let's go seven for luck. Okay, so I got seven arm pulls. That's the fluorocarbon I'm gonna put on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna terminate this with another torpedo snap swivel. But whereas I use the number four premium, um, this on the uh, with the flasher, I go very different approach here when I'm running a spoon. I'm gonna run the the, the standard ball bearing torpedo swivel here, um, but I'm gonna use a size a size one. The size one's rated for 40 pound test. It's uh, it's it's super small. You can start, hardly see it. It is a great uh, swivel for running a spoon. Um, again, you can see constant theme. I'm gonna terminate this with a uni knot. It's it's my it's my knot of choice. So bear with me while I, what was I, lose the swivel here. Bear with me as I tie a, a uni knot here and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be finished. And then what I'll do is I'll just wind, uh, wind the fluorocarbon onto the, uh, onto the rod. So bear with me as I do the uni knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven wraps. All cinched down. Nice and tight here. Okay, now I'm gonna take the tag in and cut that off. Bear with me here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, and I have this rod obviously uh, all in uh, all in pieces still. I'm gonna wind. I'm gonna wind the line on. So super quick here. I'm winding it on. Now the rod's gonna come back to me here, the other part. A little bit more difficult when I'm filming at the same time. But here we go. Get the second half of the rod. And then what I do when I go to store it, I'm gonna take the take that swivel. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna clip that to the uh, the second eyelet on the lower section of the rod, and then I'm gonna keep winding. I'm going to flip, the, flip it around and basically I'm going to loop the line around and we are, we are done except for I didn't snap the swivel closed so it popped off. But basically that's how I terminate, that's how I terminate when I'm running a spoon. I, I, it's really important for me to add in that, uh, add in that fluorocarbon leader, um, you know, definitely a much, uh, a much lighter test, and uh, and that's how I, I finish the rods off when I'm running a 
when I'm running for a, for a mooching rod for spoons. I tell you, um, if, if you're fun fishing, I, you know, I, I'm, I, I think it's hard to beat, frankly, a, a mooching rod spe uh, set up when you're, when you're fishing for fun. Um, they're, they're great when you're fishing for fun uh, with flashers, but I tell you, if you're running a spoon uh, only with no, uh, no flasher, um, it's, it's a fantastic feeling on a mooching rod. You've got uh, you've got no uh, you've got really next to no drag at all, um, and it's it's just you and the fish, ten and a half foot rod. Um, you know if you're uh, if you're someone that likes to fish in the rivers with a with a, a long noodle rod, it's it's probably the closest thing you can get to that um, on the boat. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, I, like I said, I'm gonna put links in the description to the products I'm using. So that you can find them easier. Um, like I said, you, you don't have to use uh, you don't have to use Andy monofilament. It is my monofilament of choice. Um, I like the pink and I like the, I like the clear or the matte. So those are the three that I use from Andy. Um, they work great. You know, if I I would have used pink if I had it, like I have on uh, like I have on this particular setup. But I'm all out of pink, and I've got a massive spool of clear now. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm using uh, I'm using the clear. Anyways, good luck, folks. Have a great evening. Talk to you later. Bye.